So did Warren Buffett and the Berkshire Hathaway team cause the airline industry to sell off today because of their news of them selling all their positions and all their stock when it comes down to United, Delta, Southwest, and of course, American Airlines. What's good on team? It's Ricky with TechLab Solutions here with another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We are the largest YouTube channel in the world for those that day trade in the stock market. I really hope that you smash that like button and that you learn something new within today's video. So to answer that very simple question, Question, did Warren Buffett and the Berkshire Hathaway team cause the airline industry to sell off today? In very simple words, yes. One of the things that we need to take into consideration is what Warren Buffett said and why so many people value his opinion. One of the things that we can all, of course, agree on is most likely that Warren Buffett is probably one of the greatest investors in our generation. So taking that into consideration, it doesn't surprise me that as he shared his news of him selling his entire portfolio when it comes down to all the stocks he had invested in the airline industry, people follow with panic selling. So taking that into consideration, one of the things that I thought that we could do within this video is there is no question that some industries take longer to recover than others. But one of the things that we have to understand is that because of this panic selling and because of where the airline industry currently stands, this is American Airlines, ticker symbol AAL. It's down over 10% today because of that unfortunate news, right? So taking that into consideration, it's approaching 180 day highs. And just because something is oversold, in no way does that make it a good deal. But for long-term investors, this could potentially present us with an opportunity that again can really pay off in the future. And one of the things that I thought that we can do within this video is although we do respect of course, one of the greatest investors' opinion of, yeah, the airline industry did take a big hit. Also taking into consideration what he shared that the overall management and the CEOs are four great companies. It was just an unforeseen event of this overall pandemic that again, took a big hit when it comes down to the overall airline industry. So taking that into consideration, I do agree. It might take years for this overall airline industry to recover and get to the same demand level of where they were last year. But with that in mind, there is no question that there is room for recovery. So what I thought that we can do is we could share the top airline stocks that we all see value in. And all I wanted to do is I wanted to share my watch list. I thought that as the airline industry continues to sell off, and if it continues, this isn't a time where you have to feel forced to invest if you're not ready, but it's to collect your thoughts, build a watch list of quality airline stocks that personally you see value in. And of course, just because I see value in something doesn't mean that you have to agree. Be empowered to be your own person, but I think it's something that can definitely pay off in the future if you begin to build a watch list of airline stocks that you want to invest in long term and that you see value in potentially recovering within the years that follow. So taking that into consideration, I just wanted to share the stocks that I have in my airline watch list and see which ones out of the ones I share, you personally see the most value. And don't even stop there. There's a lot more airlines, of course, that you can add to your watch list that could potentially meet your criteria. I just wanted to make sure that I do my part and remind you that when it comes down to this overall unfortunate news that the airline industry did take a big hit, and of course, some industries do take longer to recover, all the news that was shared during the Berkshire Hathaway conference was not new news. It just has to do with, again, a lot of people valuing Warren Buffett's opinion and causing the overall airline industry to take a big hit today, which of course can present us with a pretty good deal as the airline industry can slowly begin to recover. So let me know in the comment section, do you think that the airline industry will get worse before it gets better or as states slowly begin to reopen back up and as people potentially slowly begin to gain confidence to travel once again, do you think that we could actually see a slow recovery in the overall airline industry? And do you think it's worth it? There is no question that right now based off of current price points, even as an example for the overall airline industry, based off of current price points at $9.55, according to where it was trading at $30, it offers a 200% return. This is something that, of course, we do not expect to happen tomorrow or maybe even a year from now. But with the idea in mind that, again, some industries did take a bigger hit than others and some industries do take longer to recover than others, the recovery potential is definitely there. 
Now the simple question is, what are you doing today that your future self will thank you for? All we have to do is, you know, simply collect our thoughts, build our watch list, and maybe when the airline industry does begin to indicate signs of recovery, you can gain the confidence to slowly begin to invest in companies that you personally see value in. Again, I really hope that I earned your thumbs up. Don't forget to stay connected and join our free Facebook group. That's going to be that first link down below. We have over 265,000 members within our free day trading Facebook group. Like always team, let's make sure that we in the year on a green now. Take it easy.